My name is uh, Raja Vijay Kumar. I uh, uh, am a researcher uh, working for a research organization uh, called Organization The Skilling, which uh, has many uh, uh, subsystems with it, like the Center for Advanced Research and Development, the uh, CERI, the Skilling Energy uh, Research Institute, and uh, the Skilling. Automation and Robotics Center. Uh, we basically research on multiple areas relating to healthcare. I started uh, uh, as a very young researcher. Uh, in fact, uh, my first uh, invention was a fruit counting uh, machine that was uh, invented when I was 14 years old. And uh, I've been a chronic inventor, so working on various different uh, technologies. Uh, wherever we find a problem, uh, we try to find a solution for the problem. Well, the story of uh, PsychoCan um, was... Uh, PsychoCan was actually uh, started as a more of a fun project uh, for us uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, in 2007, there was an a, a epidemic of uh, uh, influenza, which was more, uh, it didn't much affect the uh, eastern part of the world, but it was pretty prominent and, uh, uh, you know, um, caused a lot of problem in the West. And uh, uh, in 2012, uh, we uh, read a paper, which was published in a peer-reviewed journal, uh, saying that uh, uh, the incidence of uh, influenza was uh, the least or practically nil along the equator, about five degrees uh, up and five degrees down of the equator. So this was very interesting for us as to why this is uh, happening. And uh, at the same time, uh, in a, for another patent of ours called uh, the GNT patent, uh, we had developed a, a very sp a special super alloy for a different purpose. Uh, so, we thought, uh, you know, it's very interesting that we should study why along the equator uh, the incidences of influenza were low. So, uh, me along with a couple of uh, my team members, uh, we went uh, to the equator, uh, yeah, onto one of the <coughs> islands of uh, Indonesia, where we set up our uh, uh, devices, measuring devices, and we started monitoring as to what is there in the um, what is there in the equator that we don't have here that can protect from uh, infection. So uh, we started looking at it seriously, and then we found that uh, uh, there were specific wavelengths of uh, photons that we could detect from the sun, from the sunlight along the equator that was very uh, specific that it was not seen in Bangalore. Okay. So that is where the whole curiosity started. Okay. So we wanted to produce this particular uh, type, of type of signals that otherwise come from the sun uh, to be uh, generated using some kind of a device. So we uh, uh, started working on it and uh, in 2000, uh, 2015, uh, we came out with uh, uh, a device uh, which, which was not called PsychoCan at that time, but is a device that uh, we could produce the similar thing what which we saw in uh, along the equator. So we said, okay, why don't we put it in our uh, center. So we started in 2015 and in 2018 uh, we could successfully build a device and that was put in our campus. We were planning to introduce this for the bird flu and spine flu for the farmers because millions of uh, birds die, many farmers go bankrupt. So we wanted to work on that. And that is the time when we uh, suddenly heard the news around November, December of 2019 about the uh, the coronavirus. 
and uh, the pandemic you know it was not yet a pandemic at that time but uh, that, that took us an interest and then uh, when we uh, studied when our team here in our microbiology team they, they started looking at it they found that uh, it's a very similar virus uh, from the point of view of its uh, functionality okay both were uh, enveloped uh, you know rna virus and so on so we thought why not it it works for influenza it should probably work for this we don't know so the principle what we had thought itself is to disabling or or uh, you know disabling the attack mechanism of the virus so basically it is disabling the spike protein the end terminal of the spike protein uh, is disabled so that Uh, the virus cannot home or cannot latch on to the host cells i mean this is the principle which we had put it for the influenza so the first test which we did and there was no laboratories who were uh, uh, wanting willing to test it because all laboratories were busy uh, with the covid so we couldn't find one in india so we had sent it to the united states and uh, uh, you know then from there it was shifted to mexico and then we could find a <coughs> a bsl to lab there to study it to work on it uh, i mean to test whether it really works so it was tested first on uh, uh, surrogates surrogates uh, of covid which is a epa approved surrogate virus the uh, equatorian arthritis virus uh, was to tested on then our old curiosity of influenza was still in our head so we requested the lab to also test it for influenza because uh, you know everything was working before this uh, in the as an hypothesis so that's what happened is we uh, tested it we got very good results and then we discussed it with uh, with, a, with the fda in the us and to other regulatory uh, bodies saying that this is uh, good way to you know mass uh, protection you know like a, a mask can protect you and uh, you know your other issues other things which the government uh, adopted uh, world over excellent to pre- prevent spreading of the disease but this could also work in a mass scale in a closed environment uh, where that is where infections happen you know so uh, so we started off on that and slowly over a period we could get most of the uh, regulators uh, world over in different countries uh, uh, agreed and accepted that this is can be used uh, and then then it went forward so that is how the whole thing happened that's a story of psychocal so it was not intended at all for uh, the pandemic it just happened to be there psychocan is uh, designed to uh, produce uh, high intensity photons and of various wavelengths along a spectrum and uh, these uh, photons would emanate uh, photoelectrons and these uh, electrons are the ones which go and um, you know attach itself to the uh, receptor binding domain and uh, yeah, make the virus um, uh, you know uh, attenuated or make the virus in the, uh, you know unable to get uh, its uh, attack mechanism working so this is what uh, basically happens